All right, yeah, let's talk real quick. Trade deadline is in four hours and 18 minutes. I know we talked about this Darius trade before, but yeah. if I gave you over-under half a Browns player to be traded, so if they, one guy gets traded, that's yeah. the over. So more than Thanks one. Thanks for clarifying. I didn't oh, realize that. Not, not for you, Bull. It's for people out there who may not be up to date on their gambling terms. Yeah. Will another Browns player get traded before the 4 p.m. deadline? And if so, who do you think it is? I got the under. Under? Yes, it's Jedrick Wills. He, <laughs> well, you just said under, though. No, nah, no, nah, I'm, oh, I'm okay. taking the under. Yeah, he's. they don't have – if, if Zadarius Smith got traded and they got that them, them little scrap picks, yeah. I don't think they got enough people on the, on the roster that people even want or in a situation where it's going to be meaningful. So, I, I'm going under. I want to say over because I feel like maybe they will, but I, I can't. I'm trying to think. Okay, let's discuss the players that could be traded today okay. and, and come up with a guy we think most likely. Most likely. So, we, it, well, see, Jason Lloyd, this is how you play along. That's right, Jason Lloyd. <laughs> you play Get along. Jason. Jason would be like, oh, <laughs> Get your crap on. together. <laughs> <laughs> Barney Rubble. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, on offense, possible trade candidates. Right. Jameis. Elijah. Elijah Moore, David Njoku, Wyatt Teller, uh, Jedrick Wills. Greg Newsom. That's On the awesome. defense, yeah. Greg Newsom. Dalvin Tomlinson. Yep. Dalvin Tomlinson. Thornhill. Thornhill, I guess. Denzel Ward. No. Doubt it. Never. Uh, and then special teams, Bohorquez. Never. I don't think they trade punters, right? But we'll throw them in there. Rare, but you know, what do you know? Maybe somebody wants. So there we go. That's ten guys. Okay. Who do you, if if I said to you one of those ten guys is going to get traded today? Who was it? Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore. Um. I think I think people would want either Njoku or Tomlinson. They ain't getting rid of Njoku. It, they already I, said that. You they shot that down yesterday. I mean, but David and Joku, he, they're going to have to have, they got to have locker room guys there and veterans when they are rebuilding to mm-hmm. kind of do, because you, you can ruin young players if you're just the only guys that right. you're there on a rebuild. So Dalvin Tomlinson is somebody where you, 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 can, you can do that because you got Mike Hall Jr. Maybe you yeah. want a different body type in there. You, know you got saying? a lot of veterans on the D-line anyway. Right, you still got so Hurst, you got uh, Shelby Harris. I think Tomlinson would be a good uh, move. Tomlinson, G. New, or Elijah. The thing with Greg Newsom is, if, if it depends if they're thinking they're going to re-sign him. Because yeah. if you're going to re-sign him, you probably don't trade him. Uh, well, this is the thing. His, has his value went up or down this year? What do you think? I think it stayed the same. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I think so, it's- if that's the case, what's Nichols, what's the... Mike, you know what an average nickel's making nowadays? I could try and find it, but I pro- they're probably all slotted by cornerback. So give me yeah. give me a second. I could try and sort it. I would it. say the average, like 12, 13, 15. I would just say eight to ten. You think it's that much? Fifteen average? Not an average, no. Oh, I think you said average. No, uh, I mean he's not. You mean, like, you mean like the top guys, right? Yeah, but sure. he's not getting. He's paid not. Like a, but he's not guy. a top guy. I I think I think my sneaky under the radar is Najoku. It was reported last night. Yeah, that he wouldn't th- get traded. That they're probably not going to trade him. I don't know. Like who, who reported that? Jordan Schultz. Jordan Schultz. Who we like. We like I Jordan like Jordan Schultz. Schultz. All right. But, you know, he's, he doesn't mean he's definitely right. Jordan Schultz watches the show, by the way. So, shout out to Jordan. No, I like Jordan. Does he really? <laughs> yeah. I, I like got, Jordan. I've got a few texts. It doesn't mean he's going to be right. Like, you know, these guys that do that, and he does. he's, he's an up-and-comer in the in the uh, the breaking news game, Jordan Schultz. But he's been right more than his role. Well, yeah, he does a good job. He doesn't mean he's going to be right every trade. time. I, I, I could see, I could see them. Here's the reason I, I could see them keeping him. Yeah. Who? Gino? N- no, in Joku, oh. because it's like, I, like it's young? almost, it's almost like you got to keep some guys around to like hang out with Miles Garrett. Like, take, like, let's him, like, we're gonna keep yeah. him around to keep yeah. Miles Garrett and Nick Chubb uh, company while we take these yeah. deals. By the way. Um, have we officially confirmed G? Because G and I both have gotten DMs from <laughs> I, the guy who I think is is Miles Garrett's dad. Yes. I was Do we a, know for sure that it's Miles Garrett's dad? I was able to confirm that with uh, okay. Mary Kay. 
Well, he yesterday, he, and he hasn't been tweeting much. Mm-hmm. And I haven't heard from him DM-wise in a while. I don't know about you. But um, he, there was some, I saw somebody tweeting something about, you know, Miles Garrett has earned the right that if he wants to be traded, then the Browns should trade him. And if he wants to be a Brown for life, then he should be a Brown for life. And the, that guy, mm-hmm. um, Miles' dad, insinuated in a reply to that that Miles would that he thinks Miles would want to be traded. Mm. Now, I, I, but I don't think they'll trade him during the season. I've but. always, I've always stood that it, because I've always, just from my interaction, I've always had a feeling that if it got too bad and yeah. it was losing again, that yeah. he would eventually be like, "No, nah, I got, I want to go, I want to win." Yeah. Um. And and I thought it would always be even more likely because he's already won a defensive player of the year award. Like, right. it's almost like I've given you all I got, I, you know, I, you know, I didn't complain. I played hurt, oh, but no. at some point in time, um, some point in time, you want to, you want to ball out. Now that's the, the thing that it's I the think only thing left for him is the ring is the ring. So for me, and this is why I thought about it like this. Maybe there's a situation where if you're the Cleveland Browns, I, I know we, we're not even talking about that, but if you're going back into the draft, and you, you're trying to find a young quarterback. And Jason Lloyd said this after we were done with the show. He's like, maybe it makes more sense that you try to mm-hmm. do a Anthony Richardson or Bryce Young or even like a Justin Fields or something to at least keep some of the, like, something intact. Because when you draft a quarterback, and, and just to be clear, they're, they're going to have to draft one. If you draft a quarterback, that signals to Miles Garrett. That signals to a lot of people. Yeah, I gotta. I, I, I mean, I, but at this point, is Anthony Richardson or Bryce Young make you feel better than any no, draft pick? No, that, not really. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. Justin Fields is a veteran at this point. Yeah, so. it, it, it's not. He's, like, he's a, he feels like a stopgap. Yeah, it, right. I mean, that's what all three of those. All guys three are. of them is. Well, I mean, I don't think we know for sure about those guys. Haven't played enough. I don't. You know. Uh, well, Bryce. So if, if you say, you telling me, all right, well, you, you would have to go back again to your evaluations that you had on them. Yeah. Right. Right. Sure. You, you guys had they had evaluations, so they got evaluations and tape. Um, but here's here's the thing. Just know. That if those stop gas don't work, they're gonna get you. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely you gotta put your career on it. Yeah. Like you see what I'm saying? I see you know, we see this all the time, but it's so hard to believe that guys whose job is to an like if you're a GM, a scout, whatever, to analyze football players, could see Bryce Young and CJ Stroud and think that Bryce Young is a better player. I how did that happen? It's, How does that happen? There is it, there is a lot of uh, there's a lot I of mean, bias that, in the way people wait, think about the players that they like. Yeah. Well, the truth be told, in that draft, they said if Bryce Young was six three, they said he'd be the best quarterback in that draft. That's what they were saying. But he's it's, been now, in, and it's not an apples but, to apples but comparison. Can, Houston's but, got better talent. That's what I'm know. saying. It's hard to really tell with him because yeah. he has nobody. But he looks so lost out there. They just beat the Saints. He, he did look better Saints Sunday. terrible. But he still won that game. Yeah, I didn't see well, it. Well, if you go back and – I listen to a ton of draft podcasts yeah. just because I, I like that kind of stuff. Bryce Young had some level of savviness that, like, there was no intangible way to copy. And people were worried that C.J. Stroud – was a product of Ohio State having the greatest receivers ever. Yeah, I guess. But, that, but that was the knock but here's, on him. But the, I, the mean, I agree. CJ, the CJ the guy, struggling the, right the now. guys whose <laughs> job it is. It's not our job. Oh, I agree. They to totally predict, it. to know for sure who's going to be good. That's their job. That's why we're like, well, that guy knows more than you. Maybe he does, <laughs> but he gets it wrong all the time. Well, if you remember, Frank Reich, who was the coach, wanted CJ Stroud. And was overruled by the owner, right? Who wanted Bryce Young because he ordered scallops at a steakhouse, and he goes, yeah. "This guy's different." Anthony is sick. An- I, Anthony's sick back there. I, I think. I think he's sick, like he's really sick. No, like he got a problem. He just picked up Bryce. <laughs> he got he a problem, up Bryce Young. man. He's funny. Picked up Bryce Young <laughs> just now. Hey, you know, you know, the, the scary part about it is, you you going into this season, and this is this is so much pressure because. I've always said when you miss, even going back and revisit the Deshaun Watson situation, the Deshaun Watson stuff didn't start now. That stuff started 
when you took Baker Mayfield over Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. What like, are you, that, what, are you, what are you talking about? Well, well here's what I'm saying. What, what, I'm, what I mean is, when you miss on a quarterback, everybody gets fired and they move on. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Would you so, take John Dorsey back right now? Yes, probably. Uh, but because I'm because yeah. the best players they have are John, the, Dorsey, the John yeah. Dorsey players, and I don't see the development from the new guys. So it, you know we we back between a rock and a hard place, and then they, they get they get knocked by this too. They also I also hold it against them a little bit. Of like hey, you let Flacco walk. Wait a minute. You, you let him walk. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Who who use your top five Browns players? Miles Garrett. Nick Chubb. That was pre Dorsey, wasn't it? I'm just trying to see if he's no, correct what, about this. Miles Garrett, Nick Chubb, Denzel Ward, uh, Joe Batonio. JOK. JOK. Okay, right? so JOK is the only one that yeah. Kevin and AB has something to do with. But but they also, but if you go back and you continue down, a, uh, Wyatt Teller. Yeah, he was traded they, for him. They gave him nothing traded for him. For him. Yeah. Who traded for him? Dorsey? Dorsey. David, was David and Joku here before? Yep. Yep. That, he was here when I was here. That was that was that was seven, Sashi though. That's, that, that was Sashi. Sashi. Okay. So so that was the year they had three first round picks. Yeah, yeah. correct. And they, they had took, Pepper, uh, they took Miles, Peppers, Peppers Miles and, and, and yeah. David. So so all their best players basically are guys that. <laughs> I mean, hey, I can't argue that. And then, <laughs> I can't argue that. The I'm, only <laughs> gee, the only pushback I'd give, and I don't disagree at all. Corey Bohork the, is. Well, no, no. But the Deshaun Watson trade, which is a black mark on the resume, they haven't had first round picks because of that deal. Right. Which they don't but get. He made that trade. I'm not saying they know. get a pass for. I'm just saying when you look at guys yeah, they drafted, yeah, and second, third round guys. Who did Houston take with those picks? CJ and who? No, CJ. No, was CJ was uh, not. Nah, they, they used one pick to trade up for Will Anderson. <laughs> it wasn't. They had the 12th pick okay. from the Browns. They he used that been, to trade up. He would have been a top pick, a player on our team. Go ahead. But they could. Will Anderson wasn't there with the pick. They, they had to trade. They up. Traded, oh, they yeah, traded yeah, the pick with their own pick. Didn't they get Tank Dell with one of the picks? They took Tank Dell and they took Kenyon. Green, who has been terrible. Okay. So, would you, would you, would you, would you have faith in in Andrew Barry taking the best receiver out of this class? No. I mean, well, they, that's where we at now. Would you? That's why I keep saying when they keep trading for these picks, do you trust him to make the pick? Do, do you trust him to get it right? Oh. I think we're off, given off his recent resume, it's very hard to say you are. Let me ask this too: if you draft a quarterback. Do you want him to run Kevin Stefanski's offense? Well, I think that dictates what quarterback you get. Because I know how you feel about the whole I, I, offense. I, 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 I just left it. I, I left in it. A, in, a, for, in a perfect world, the Browns draft a quarterback <laughs> and signed a, a veteran that can start the season. Even if that means the rookie doesn't <laughs> play for three, four weeks, whatever it is. This way, there's not this pressure to rush the quarterback in before he's ready. So here, so here's, so this is the, that's the, not the question though. The question, the question was, is, do you basically are you saying how do you do you trust Kevin Stefanski's offense? That's basically what he's. I doing. can do. Kevin Stefanski's offense win you a Super Bowl? That's where you. I at. think it that's can. the question. That, that's the question. Okay. If you got, I think it can. But, I do but think. I'm not hundred. I don't feel hundred percent confident. So, in that. so what I would say is, Kevin Stef. Kevin's offense, you know, okay. not, not the new spin with the, all so, the shotgun. Okay. Kevin's offense. So they have to get. They're gonna fire Dorsey then. No, I, no, I don't think so. Because I think it, Dorsey brings in his shotgun element of it, which quarterbacks want to play in the gun nowadays. Oh, okay. I think that it, you talking about just Kevin's offense. Yeah. Kevin's offense is a staple of Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan, Kevin O'Connell. They all work from under center a lot. It's all play action and zone reads. Those three go, two of them. Well, three, because Kevin O'Connell, when he was with the Rams, they all they went to the Super Bowl. So, to answer your question in a nutshell, yes. Well, let me give you this. <laughs> so, the top four quarterbacks in the draft, Shadora Sanders, gun. Carson Beck, gun. He's terrible. He's regressed. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I would not, knock would him not want him. Quinn Ewers. Regressed. Okay. Um, yeah, but Ewers, Ewers plays in shotgun, but it's a pro-style offense. Oh, okay. he, he's the closest it, fit. The Brown, here's the one thing the Browns cannot do. They cannot draft a quarterback if he's not worthy of that pick. And yeah. teams do that all the time because they feel like we need a quarterback. But if you're if you're, a, Jones if you're a top five, if you're in the top five, <laughs> yeah, they said you gotta like it's, uh-huh. you 100 percent got to take the quarterback. But so, why? If there's nobody worth the top, I'm not. Don't get me wrong. 
if I if I think that uh, get, who's the Beck? Okay, I know Carson you Beck. All right, but let, let's say let's say you think Carson Beck is the the second best quarterback in the draft, but he's fifteenth overall on your board. Yes, if I'm five, I take him. But if I think Carson Beck's a, a really a third round pick, I, I wouldn't take I, it. I, I I'm it. not taking him. I'm <laughs> not taking him. <laughs> so so to me, there's only one. There's two options. Yeah, I think Cam Ward is really really nice. Yeah, but he's predominantly under shotgun. Uh, how, how tall is he? Is he? He's like six one. He's not a huge guy. Let me see. He uh, he is he's like Cam Ward or Shador. Cam, Cam, Cam Ward. Ward. He's six two. And so Shador he's 6'2". is what? Like six one, six two. Not, neither of them are giants. Not not giants. But if you watch Cam Ward play, yeah, it was just scary. He plays like the the brother of Deshaun Watson. Like he plays, like mm. he's cool. Like he he likes to improvise. Some of the throws he makes is ridiculous. His arm is crazy, but I ain't seen Cam Ward get under center, turn his back to the defense, run yeah. play action, and throw the ball out. Like none of these quarterbacks do any of that. Yeah. So mm. my thing is, like we're we're at a we're at a place where we're gonna they're gonna have to really right now hurry up and evaluate. What do you guys want to do? I just think teams that draft a quarterback out of desperation when they don't maybe fully believe he's the guy, it always goes wrong. We might be there. I, I just, what's it looking like for the twenty six draft? I'm gonna be honest with you because I talked. I talked to. Uh, he's gonna be the best guy, Arch Manning, probably. And the Nico Nico kid from Tennessee. That kid from Tennessee that, is that a dude, monster. Yeah, he like six five. But I talked to uh, Daniel Jeremiah. Yeah. Who's on? He was. We, we did it for the pregame. Yeah. And we, our last question was about the quarterbacks, and he said. To be honest with you, this is going to be a weak quarterback class. He yeah. said, like, it's going to be the spring of Shador. Everybody's going to talk about Shador. Yeah. Then it'll be Cam. But he said Carson Beck, Quinn Ewers, uh, and it was somebody Nuts else. Nutsmeyer. Nutsmeyer. So it's only Shador. Is, and is Shador and, considered and, and, elite? And, People, some people like Cam Ward at the same level as Shador. Those are Cam the, Ward, the two guys. He's not. Time. Cam Ward just do some, like, it, it's like – if you watch him play, like that, that Miami would dig themselves in the hole, and he'd yeah. just more Superman the thing, and just come back and just start throwing he, touchdowns. He'd be throwing, but these. it's it's not like he going like boom. All right, well, I'm, let's it, not that. It's, it's, it's like he might have to move around a little bit, improvise. Is it Johnny Manziel, like not, not to that, not, not to that magnitude. It's, 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 it's like once again, it's like he's Watson. a playmaker at quarterback. It's like Deshaun Watson, like <laughs> yeah, at Clemson, like he's not really that yeah. fast, but he never really gets hit. He Shador can, Sanders is he like what level is he? Shador can Jason Shador. handles Shador. level no, no, athleticism? No 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 no, 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 no. He's a pocket passer. Yeah, no Shador. Oh. But what you like about Shador, I I, so this is the one thing that Shador really yeah. has going for him. It's because his offensive line hasn't been great, so he's thrown under pressure a lot, yeah. and he still makes really good throws under pressure. Do I want a 6-1 quarterback who's a pocket passer? No, no, no. Nothing wrong with that. Here's the, thing, here's the things that people are going to hate about Shador. He hold that ball. He takes a lot of sacks. Mm, he, yeah. he takes a But lot. his offensive line and, also, uh, again, right. isn't great. But but the, <laughs> when you come from the era where we come from. You got to get the ball out. Your where head. you didn't see Deshaun Watson hold the ball. Yeah. You, 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 you watch Baker hold the ball. You saw Johnny Manziel hold the rock. You'd be like, man, listen, I need, it, it's cool to play make and stuff like that. And when he, when he throws <laughs> and spins it, what is uh? What's Beautiful. the what's mm. the Nuss, what, what's the dude from uh LSU? How tall is he? Garrett Nussmeyer. Yeah. Uh, Garrett Nussmeyer is, and we should have Mary Kay on here one second. How did we get to this conversation? This we were is, talking. Do you trust the Browns? Because this is trade this players is where we at. Yeah. Nussmeyer is yeah. listed at six two, two hundred pounds. Uh, we're gonna bring Mary Kay in, in one sec, but G Bush is gonna have a live.